Hi, my name's Ryan Whitehouse. I'm 42 year old. I'm from Rotherham. I've just finished my tattoo job with Marcus. Thank you. So Dwayne initially contacted me um, after after being referred by uh, one of my previous clients who I'd done some work for. Um, these pictures that you're seeing now are pictures that he sent in to me. Um, he had some some treatment done by another company, but unfortunately, um, they didn't do such a great job. Uh, as you can see in some of these pictures here, especially this one, um, very large dots, very inconsistent work, very patchy work. Um, what you'll see in some of the other shots is there's just no no symmetry, no real sort of approach. On this one, you can see it's really, really bad. And when you get to the sides here, there was no real blending work that was done. So no no density added to the treatment, no connection to make it blend with his real hair. Um, all they did, it seems that they've sort of uh, focused only on, on the areas where he was bald, but never really connected it. I mean, this is another really, really bad shot where you can see there's just loads of blowouts and yeah, you can see the t definitive line between the actual treatment and his real hair. Just no real connection. That's another sort of shot. The light wasn't great, so I had to do some of these indoors. Um, halfway through the treatment, you're going to see now, I took him outside. Um, so this was sort of like halfway through the session. And you can see me just sort of analysing um, a bit more, you know, in the, in the natural light, what, what was wrong here. Um, and I'm obviously sort of pointing out some of the areas that that of concern again you can see a lot better here um what was what was surprising to me with this one is that he had had five sessions done um with this provider um i really don't know what their approach was on this one because to not have achieved adequate amounts of density or or suitable amounts of you know blending work um, there's no real flow to the treatment. Um, I, I, I just start understand, and that's what I said to him. I said, look, if five sessions work, even one of the sessions was like four hours long. I said, if four hours, I'd, I'd probably cover your whole head and they've only just reworked the top over and over with just no real consistency. Um, but anyway, not to discourage him. I mean, I managed to sort of salvage it in the end. Um, as you can see in this photo here now, you know, there's a stark difference. Obviously, I reworked and got got some some more symmetry into the treatment. Um, you know, obviously, what we worked um, my dots and placings. This is this is another good shot. You can see um, before and after, especially the back. I've reblended, and that I've, I've managed to do that in just the one session, which he was really happy with as well. Um, this is a close up of of my work afterwards. And it was really just about sort of looking at what what was and wasn't done and what needed to be done, and um, you know just just placing dots in the right places and obviously using the right color as well. I kind of had to overpower it with the right color because I feel like the color used was just a little bit strong initially. Um, so yeah, it was just a focus of on overpowering it with a slightly lighter colour but getting the density right so it still made enough of a difference um, and this is this is just a final video at the end just doing a, a complete scan of his head um, of the treatment so um, again this is no knock on any other providers there's good and bad out there but it does pay to do your research and don't just make your decision based on cost I say this time and time again research your technician or your provider ask to see before and afters maybe ask to be put in touch with past clients um that's something you should be able to do anyway that's enough for me thank you guys for watching my video take care